This video is part of a series within Lead ME, a project funded by the Horizon 2020 Framework Program of the European Union. With this series, we want to inform professional educators, trainers, teachers and speakers on how to create accessible, barrier-free content for live audiences. We also want to give you some ideas on accessibility of video and audio broadcast, print and pictures. You will receive basic information on how computers, internet or social media are being used by a diverse audience. This video will focus on mobile devices and computers. A few things to know about creating content for the use on mobile device or on computer. Not all mobile devices are used the same way by different people. Ensure that your content is responsive to assistive technologies. This means, for instance, that your application shows well on computer, tablet or smartphone. But it also means that it is optimized for any assistive technologies or software. For most people with hearing impairments, it is very important to have written audio description. Elena says Colin since there is now even an app for volume, inductive hearing and sound adjustment for my hearing aid, I use my smartphone all the more frequently. John says Colin computers, tablets and smartphones are an important part of my communication. On social media, I can connect to and interact with friends, whether it is just by writing someone a quick message or joining a video chat. Sam says Colin I use magnification functionality, screen reader functionality, color scheme adaptations or voice assistant features on my smartphone, tablet and computer. It is only natural. It would be great if the auditive descriptions are implanted. Carl says call and speaking for people with learning difficulties, our biggest barrier is the lack of funds. Most of us don't have access to digital devices. Another problem is the lack of assistance. We would need help for learning to use computers and mobile devices. Mike says call and if you ask me, the good old newspaper still serves its purpose for me. Well, this shows that the use of 21st century technology is not only a matter of ability or impairment, but depends a lot on how people grew up or what kind of media they prefer. Storyboard by Klaus Hogner and Petra Plika. Pictures and animations by Petra Plika. Animation assistant Barbara Bandy. Automatic subtitles and voiceover by Austria Association supporting the blind and visually impaired. Animations created in Microsoft PowerPoint. This video is based upon work from Cost Action Lead underscore ECA 19142, supported by Cost, European Cooperation in Science and Technology. Cost is a funding agency for research and innovation networks. Our actions help connect research initiatives across Europe and enable scientists to grow their ideas by sharing them with their peers. This work is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution CC by Funded by the Horizon 2020 Framework Programme of the European Union.